Oh man, yesterday, yesterday. Listen to all Cardinals fans. I feel sorry for you guys mm -hmm. because I don't know why, but it is what it is. Y'all took an L, pretty huge L too. You guys feel like talking about it? Like, you, what, what was your? Did you guys get a chance to watch the game? What are your? What are your? Uh, yeah, yeah. The, the Cardinals not ready, man. They another team. They they not ready. Like they they got a decent team. They 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 all right in the regular season. But now it's teams is it's, it's crunch time now. The season is going. It's players getting hurt. It's the end of the year. People making a playoff push, and the Cardinals kind of looking like a, a, just another good team. Like I never looked at them as like a Super Bowl contender. Same as <laughs> the same as the Patriots. It's two teams that they not ready. Like they good teams, but they just not there yet, man. Um. So this is two in a row for the Cardinals. So they, they lost to the Rams, right? And then um they, they lose to the Lions now. Um <clears throat> listen, I, I don't know. Um I, I think losing to the Rams is no no tough task. Um, but uh losing to the Lions, that's that's horrible. <laughs> I mean, mm -hmm. from the way you've been playing all year, um I think that should have been a win. Um I don't think you should have any excuses about it. Um, like King said, it took a big L. But that's a game they should win. And Kyler, Kyler's hurt, isn't he? Again. Didn't look, he didn't look good. I don't know, man. I just I just don't hey, understand. Hey, but like Sly said, man, like Sly said, man, it's one of those teams. Listen, every season, every year we have a team, and no disrespect to them. That's good to see them have a great winning season. But you know, once the season comes close, you know, it's just it what it is, man. Yeah. There's levels to it, and, um, you know, just like me and you said back then, King, you know, like, you know, beginning of the NBA season, a certain you got certain teams that, that ball hard, but during the season, once they get longer, they just slowly mm -hmm. come back down to earth. Well, hold on. Uh, Jerry Goff, 21 to 26 for 216 yards, three touchdowns. That's Jerry Goff. That's what he'll usually give you. There might be an interception, like it might be two touchdowns or one interception. But that's usually what he'll give you a game, okay? The efficiency might not be as good, but he usually gives you about 26 passes a game, and he'll get you at least 200 yards. Is that fair to say? No. Yeah. Kyler Murray, 23 of 41, 257 yards, one touchdown, one interception. Colt McCoy came in, 6 for 9, 56, right? Here's the problem, though. They're rushing. The highest yards that one of the players got was 53. This is the Cardinals, okay? Lions, Craig Reynolds, excuse me, 26 carries, 112 yards. So not only were they getting diced up in the passing game, the running game was supplementing that, which leads me to believe, because I didn't get to watch the full game, that it was a lot of play action that was getting Jared Goff these, these yards. In the red zone, yeah. Right? So... I mean, I caught highlights, but I didn't get to watch the full game, so I can get the full context. But yeah, that's what it looked like to me. Ridiculous. Yeah. I right? don't know. Like I said, that's the game they should have. But, you know, I also understand it. And like Sly said, listen, man, it's, hey, what happens, man? They're coming back down to earth. Yeah. I remember Buffalo was that team, though. That's why I can say I remember Buffalo probably like, maybe I would probably say last, no, probably a year before last, when the Bills first started to pick up some steam. It's like everybody was so hype, but it's like, bro, it's a young team. They not ready yet. They not. They just. They just. That's how the Cardinals are. They they just not ready yet. But I'm rooting for them because Kyler is a dog. 